Hey, what's up? Hello. Just kidding, that was really gross. Anyways, hi guys, I'm back with another makeup tutorial for you today. Um, and so let's just get right into it. We're starting with the face, and I'm starting with my Nivea Post Shave Balm in Sensitive, and I'm just applying that all over my face as a primer. Uh, if you're new to YouTube and you haven't seen this going everywhere on all of the makeup channels, then it just it has glycerin in it, which makes makeup stick to your face. And so it's really nice, and your makeup lasts a long time. And then I'm going in with a Ben & Pip 4 Professional, what, professional primer just to put that um, where my pores are to smooth everything out. Then I'm going in with my L'Oreal uh, Lumi Cushion Foundation and I'm taking a buffing brush or a kabuki brush. This one is the um, Real Techniques buffing brush and I'm just applying that all over my face and then buffing it in. And don't forget to blend down your neck. Down. Down. Oh my gosh, I can't talk tonight. Okay, anyways, now I'm going in with my Makeup Forever HD Concealer, and I'm applying that under my eyes. And then in the center of my forehead, down my nose, on my cupid's bow, and on my chin, just because this concealer is a little bit light. And so I wanted to even it out on my face so that my under eyes weren't like, boom, highlighted, and everything else wasn't, you know. You gotta make yourself look a little even. So yeah, that's what I'm doing, and then I'm going in with a damp beauty blender and blending that all out. Honestly, I do not know what I did before I used the beauty blender. I bought it, and for a while it just kind of sat in my makeup collection, and I was like, this is really stupid. I just bought it because, like, people had it. And then I actually tried it one day, and I was like, whoa. And then that was it. I just never, never went back. Anyways, now I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and I'm just applying that on any little blemishes that need a little more coverage. Um, I've been getting, like spots around my forehead I don't know why but yeah so um I'm just blending that out with the beauty blender as well now I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline fit me powder um, and I'm going to take this elf kabuki brush and I'm just going to brush that all over my face to set my face makeup and then I'm going to go in with my Beauty Blender and my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And I'm going to bake under my eyes with that so that nothing creases. Because you don't want creasy makeup. I mean, that's not an attractive look. Okay, after that, I'm going to go in and do my eyebrows, as I was saying. But, like, you can't hear me. And, ta-da! I'm back. I did them. Haha, <laughs> see? Power of editing. Okay, why did I just kiss? Like, that, okay, um, just ignore me. Okay, anyways, I'm wiping off the baking with this Real Techniques blush brush, I think it is. And now I'm going to zoom in and we'll start on my eyes. Alright, so I'm starting by priming my eyes with my Lorac eyeshadow primer. Um, just letting you know, I'm recording like this part later and my voice is just like gone. It just blasted off. Okay, um, just letting you know in advance so that's why I sound like a dying pig. Um, so I'm going in with my Lorac Mega Pro 2 palette and I'm going in with the shade Melon and then I'm just blending that into the crease as a transition shade. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and then I'm going to be going in with the shade right next to it. It's more orange. I think it's called Tangerine. Um, and I'm going to be applying that slightly below Melon just to deepen the crease up slightly. and then just blend it all out like blending is key as always mm. ah, sorry I was reading a text message I'm just I have no attention span okay anyways now I'm going in with this shade I really don't know what it's called I'm sorry it's like 11 o'clock at night and I'm just dead um, but I'm applying that all over my lid like not all over my lid but like in the inner half of my lid and then kind of blending it into the orange and um, then I'm going back in with Tangerine and just um, applying that to the outer V a little bit to deepen up the crease slightly because it kind of got blended away when we applied the shimmery shade. And then I'm going back into that shimmery shade and applying that into my inner corner to make my eyes look more open. That was really gross. Okay, now I'm going back in with Melon and I'm applying that on my lower lash line with a little pencil brush. And then I'm going to go over that with Tangerine, as you will see in a second, and I'm going to be applying it on my lower lash line as well, just to make it a little more smoky. If you haven't noticed, I really like applying things to my lower lash line. 
Did that did that make sense? I hope it did. Okay, now I'm going in with um, a black pencil liner. Any black pencil liner will work. This is just one from Maybelline, and I'm tight lining with it. I'm not lining my waterline with it. I'm leaving my waterline bare because it makes my eyes look more open. And then I'm going in with my Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner, um, and I am just doing a really high, sharp wing. And so I'm just going to blast on through this. I just zoomed in so you could see me do a wing like in a fast motion. Is fast motion a thing? Like slow-mo, fast-mo, sped up, sped up. I think that's how you say it. Um, anyways, I'm just going to do that. And then after that, I take some concealer, as you will see in a second, and I just put that on the back of my hand, and then I sharpen up the wing because that is the key to... Um, getting a really sharp wing is going back over it with some concealer and sharpening it up so that it's like sharp enough to cut. You feel? You feel. We good. We chill. I, I, I need sleep. Um, okay, anyways, now I'm going to um, apply some lash primer. This is the Urban Decay lash primer, I think. It just has like little like fibers in it to make your lashes look thicker when you apply mascara then i'm going in with my fave mascara of all time my fave ew ew okay um the better than sex mascara and i'm applying that to my upper lashes and then i'm going to be taking the maybelline pumped up colossal mascara um, which is my favorite drugstore mascara and i'm applying that to my lower lashes <clears throat> Ugh, i'm coughing everywhere all the time just forgive me pardon me now I'm going in with the NARS Laguna Bronzer. I broke it, um, I dropped it, I'm just clumsy, and I held it upside down when I was showing it to the camera. That's how great I am. Um, and I'm just bronzing up my face with that, um, with a big fluffy brush, and then I'm going to be going in with a little um, of a smaller brush, and I'm going to be contouring with that as well. This is my favorite bronzer, and so when I run out, which is going to be a lot more quick now because I broke it, I'm going to have to get a new one. Um, and now I'm going in with a Laura Mercier highlight in the shade 01. It's so pretty. I love it so much. Um, and I'm applying that to my cheekbones, the tip of my nose, and my cupid's bow, you know, the usual places you highlight. Um, and I just love this highlighter so much. It just gives me such a pretty glowy look. Okay, short side note. Um, I know my neck looks, my neck and face look darker than my um, chest, but I promise you that's just the camera. It looks normal in real life um okay but anyways i'm now going in with my stila stay all day liquid lipstick in the shade patina i love this so much also my friend sarah is obsessed with it um she loves it as much as i do it's just such a good liquid lipstick um anyways and i'm applying that and i'm taking the melted liquid lipstick in yikes melted peony i think um uh yeah that's what it is i think um but then yeah I'm just applying that to the center of my lips and then my look is done. If you liked this video, then please click like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Um, I love you all and I will see you in my next video. Drags on the um, exit words so that um, it takes up enough of the video filming time, LMAO, at my life.